And we're here for the bonus chapter of Sacratera Kiss of Death. I'm your Gibbs. One thing I want to point out right away is check out all the hearts. That's right, every heart we've collected has been actually put on the main menu here, which is kind of cool, so you would have saw this progressing throughout the entire game. Extras-wise, you've got your concept art. Uh, you've got your strategy guide, which, you know, obviously is there. We have access now to the bonus chapter. Yay! And as I was looking at it, it actually looks like the bonus chapter is about a third of the main game. So that's pretty cool. I expect that to be maybe take about an hour. And then, of course, you've got our wallpaper here. And this was the one that I used for my uh, video thumbnail. Because I kind of thought she looked pretty cool. Alright, so that'll do that for that. Do that for that? What does that even mean? Uh, I guess we're ready to hit the play button here. So yes, we're going to go ahead and do the bonus chapter. Ooh, look at the flames. Let's go ahead and get this started. My name is Vito Morbile. I was a well-known psychiatrist and the owner of a renowned hospital. Then I made a fateful mistake. I started to practice the occult sciences. I became so addicted to the powers the supernatural gave me, I did something irreversible. I summoned the demon Lilith. My folly cost me my life and my eternal rest. Now I must repair the damage I did and return this she-monster to hell by any means necessary. I must right the wrong I have done. The she-monster. <laughs> Alright, well this looks like a direct sequel. Because I remember hanging that uh, spider up there. It looks like we might be playing as Morbile. Let's have a look here. I was a well-known psychiatrist. Yeah, so we're not actually playing the detective. Looks like we're playing uh, the dude. The evil asylum dude. Uh, what else can we do here? Uh, let's kind of look here. Unfortunately, I can't go directly to the Temple of Lilith. I must first perform a ritual that opens a portal to the underworld. This won't be easy, but I must atone for my sins. The Temple of Lilith contains the heart and blood of the first woman to become a demon. Her blood is powerful and able to overcome any curse, including those cast by other demons. Some made a dagger with a hollow core specifically for transporting her blood. The handle looks like a pair of intertwined snakes. Alright, fair enough. Uh, I don't think we can go in there just yet. Nope. Tiffany opened that portal so only she can step through it. Ah, oh, neat. So Tiffany was the name of the detective, which was the character we played in the main game. So let's go ahead and get cracking here on our first hidden object scene. So obviously because this is a direct sequel, then I would expect the scenes to look relatively the same. Which is kind of clever. Sometimes these games will do sequels, but they're five years later, or they'll do prequels, you know. Or they'll actually do sequel that's a prequel. And what I mean by that is, it's a sequel, but you travel in time and you end up, you know, in a prequel. So different ways to do the bonus chapter. Certainly enjoy having a little bit extra to play, especially for a game world that I truly enjoyed. And the Sacratera games, this one and the first one, I have enjoyed thoroughly. So I'm more than happy to play a little bit extra. So we have number six, scroll, and alarm clock. So I got some really creepy music in the background. And we have it all. Oh, there she is there. Wow. Cool. That's neat that we get to see her in this manner. Is this the dagger you mentioned? I thought it would open the heart-shaped lock in the office, but it didn't. I don't know why. Maybe the lock is broken, or maybe black magic is at work. Anyway, I don't know what to do with it. Do you? I'll figure something out. Tiffany bravely descended into the underworld to save her fiancé and found the dagger. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get technical now. He never actually proposed to her, right? So, he, she didn't actually descend into the underworld to defend her fiancé. It was really to defend her dumb boyfriend. That's right, I called him a dummy. Anyways, we all know what happened in the main game. Let's continue here with the bonus chapter. What's this all about? I need a skull for the potion. Different things I need for the potion. 
This bowl contains magic symbols only the dead can see. It's a recipe for a potion. I should be able to find everything I need in my castle. Alright, so I'm dead. And I'm a ghost. Tiffany's just gonna stand there, I guess. Okay. I don't know if I can just... No, I guess I can't just do that. Fine. Myself a tarot card. Oh, I thought I had that put back there. My portrait used to be in that frame and now it's missing. Yeah, I see that. Guess we have to go out then. Put the tar tarot card there. All the weapons are back in there. That's cool. We did that in the main game. Okay, we did this already. Get out of here. Didn't we? Oh, here we are. Got myself a spider. That's not creepy at all. I don't believe there's morphing objects in the bonus chapter because I remember I got the message that I collected them all in the main game. What is this all about? Oh, it's a secret passageway. And we get our own little map for the bonus chapter. Cool. And a broom. And a crystal star. What do we have here? I need to open the door, but how? Good question. What's this? There's something behind the wall. I should break it down somehow. With a broom. Not with a broom. Take that gem. To open the gate, I need the key to the padlock. Okay, so go forward then. Hidden object scene. Bottle of water. Alright, let's get into the hidden object scene then. Chili pepper. I remember we had to grind that up, didn't we? Starfish. Starfish is somewhere else, apparently. And I remember the gold bar and the donut. Totally. And a cracker. I want that cracker big time. I don't have any more crackers. Normally I have some saltines next to me, but uh, they're all gone. I do have something to drink, though, so I can just take a little drink. There we go. There's a starfish that we needed. Looks like that's a bagel. A seashell by the seashore. Where's that frog? Good job, we did it. Now I have a skull. Skulls are cool. Oh, looks like I still have something to do in here. Uh, what's up there? Ah, oh, we can use our broom. <laughs> I thought we were gonna not be able to do that. Tricky game is tricky. So it looks like we got quite a bit to do here in the bonus chapter. Like I said, I think it's going to take about an hour if I base it off of the length of the uh, strategy guide. There we go. Now what? Oh, water. Okay, so we got this crazy potion. I don't know if I'd want to drink this thing. Fill her up. A green potion. Yikes. So what am I supposed to do here? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Ah, uh, game? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I'm supposed to put something on the ground. To open the portal, I need to make a potion. Oh, that's a strange place for a portal, folks. How did I know that I had to do that? Alright, so now we have our own portal. Whoa. 
What's here? Drawbridge! I wasn't expecting to simply pop in and complete my mission, but hitting a dead end so soon is discouraging. I won't let it stop me though. I'll just have to figure out how to lower the drawbridge. So I'll take that rune. This is a magic lantern. I should repair it. Fair enough. Take that laboratory key. Let's see if I'm missing a something there. There's something down there, but I'm not sticking my hand into a dark hole in a tree. Oh, I gotta probably fix the lantern, aren't we? Okay. What do we have here? I need the piece of wood, but how can I remove it from the winch? I don't know. Oh, let's look at something to do here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. I'm not exactly sure I'm supposed to repair this. By doing that, apparently. Turn the magic lanterns until you find the right combination of colors. <laughs> what do you mean the right combination of colors, game? How the hell am I supposed to get the right combination of colors? This just doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's just go look to the strategy guide and see what colors I'm supposed to use. Uh, how was I supposed to guess blue and green? I don't know. So we'll go ahead and do that. That didn't work, apparently. Oh, I guess it's green and orange, technically. Okay. Do I have the right spot for green? Yes, I do. I'm not sure how you'd be able to stumble across this. I don't know, that would require quite a bit of combinations. Four colors with two. Two to the fourth combinations. Assuming we can have duplicates. So we gotta get that out of there, alright. Let's go back here. Laboratory key. Alright, let's go to the laboratory. sorts of goodies in here. I should recreate that image somehow. Got myself a mold. I could use this device to make an imprint on something. So in this case, I need a key. Looks like we got more chemistry here, folks. Another room. How to make sulfur. Ah, oh, cool. Definitely more chemistry. What the heck is this for? I don't know. Flask goes there. Oh, this is filter paper, I'm guessing. Okay. So we're not quite ready for this yet. Based on these, it looks like we're going to have to do one of those light puzzles again. Uh, lizard's missing its tail. So that's something to do here. Got myself a pipe. Okay, so the pipe I know has to go here. Do some plumbing. We still need to get that piece of wood out of there. What do we have here? My hand won't fit through the grate. No such luck there. Hmm. I'm not even sure. Oh, the hand. 
Chemicals. Tweezers. I skipped the class in high school on assembling a medieval gauntlet, so I'm going to need instructions. Aren't we cheeky? Not sure if these will get this out of there. Yeah, they will. Okay. Now I have a hook on a rope. Why do I care about that? I'm trying to remember. Okay, where am I supposed to put these then? Don't know. Uh, we could probably use that here. Self a saw. So we can cut this wood. Goes the drawbridge. Holy cow, who's this guy? Demon Guardian. The Guardian will let me pass for a price. He says he wants the legendary gauntlet of Hugh de Pain. A great mage and a Templar knight. Many people searched for the ancient artifact, but no one knew it. I'd found it and hidden it in my lab. We just saw that gauntlet. I can't believe my eyes. It's Dr. Morbio, master of demons in the flesh. What a masquerade. Are you supposed to be a fisherman? Were you hoping to deceive an immortal? Ah, surely you know demons don't go by appearances. We can see your soul, so you can't fool us. Anyway, I won't be letting you into the temple unless you do me a favor. I want the gauntlet of the legendary armor of Hugh de Pen. People say it holds untold power. Bring me the glove, and I'll let you into the temple. Now go! Haha, <laughs> I like the way they distorted his voice. That was clever. There's a rune. Something going on here. The skull is missing a part. Okay. So... Oh, what's going on here? That poor creature is suffering in this heat. I should help it. They're not a fact. The lever is missing. Okay, so that's not it. What's going on here? The water coming out of that geyser is hot. I could clean something in it. Could, could we? Whoa, holy runes. Part is missing. Alright, fair enough. We just got a flashlight there. I don't think I had any water, did I? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go back here. So, now what do I have to do? Something here. Oh. I could melt something in this pot. Okay, so I guess I'm not melting that stuff. Anything else I can do in here? So I'm gonna have to make the little bits here that are missing. Okay, let's go back here. So, that part of his head? No, this part is, though. Aha! Ring with symbols! Can I actually go this way? No, it doesn't look like it. So it looks like he's technically blo blocking two places. Oh, it's because we need wood. We need more. Alright, fine. We'll keep on thinking through what that's gonna mean. And do that there. Symbols directly across from each other need to match. For example, the two symbols on the top need to match. Oh. And that one doesn't actually exist. Okay, so I think I saw that one. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, 
him out. There we go. Let's see what we can figure out here. There we go. Last but not least. There we go. It's a portal within a portal once again. Yay.